Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to Dab Jess TV. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for staying back to subscribe. If you are new here, kindly join the Dab family. And today is another entertainment news that I bring to you, but it's, uh, it's not a good news per se. It's about Baba Ichesha. If you remember, there were some there were some viral videos that went out that Baba Ijesha molested a young lady, a very young lady, and the video went viral, and a lot of people were Baba Ijesha, A lot of people were saying different things about Baba Ijesha, and Baba Ijesha was released he was in and out of the prison going to the police station in and out and all that and today he has final the judges has finally um has finally decided on what to do on him and some said they they're giving him they gave him 16 years imprisonment some are saying five years imprisonment and it deserve every justice that he did and some people were also even saying that the 16 years that was given to him is not enough that he should be 50 years it should be life imprisonment it should be 100 years imprisonment so guys please comment your view in the comment section let's have an interactive section about this that about the ministration though what Papa Jesha did is not good and I believe a lot of people have different opinion about the situation at hand. So I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to say anything about any 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 disagreement, any agreement or anything. All I want us to do is is it does the justice is it justified to Baba Baba Jesha if it's justified. What do you think? What are your your take on this? So watch this clip and subscribe and like this video. Thank you. Thank you. George, justice has been served. 16 years. 16 years. Thank you very much. This is a big lesson to all travel lessons. Anybody can go to jail. Anybody can go to jail. Madam Dito, how do you feel about uh, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Adidi Olajiga, reporting live here at the Special Offense Court here in Lagos, Nigeria, Ikeja, Ikeja precisely. And uh, definitely everything that has a beginning will have an end. And the end of Baba Ijesha's case has uh, just... And Baba Ijesha's case has just come to an end. And just so you know, he has been sentenced to 16 years in imprisonment. Uh, just for you to know, uh, I'm going to give you a countdown of what happened in court today. Uh, you, you know, Baba Ijesha. Sorry. Um, we will definitely give you the details once we come back. So, but for now, we are trying to get uh, interviews from the cancel, and the prosecutor's cancel, and the defendant's cancel. Mrs. Adito, uh, we've seen you constantly on social media. What? How do you feel about uh, the judgments made by the court? I feel the justice. The day we started this problem, everybody thought we were mad women. The day we were shouting, the day we were insisting that the government should take its course. Do you have any justice now? Do you, think, do, you think, do you think the justice is enough? Do you think it's enough? 
Do you think the church was fair enough? Ah, but uh, it's not enough. So you have come 50. So you come for 50. Is there anyone for you? Find out one way. 50, but you have come 60. Yes. How many years? Let the lawyers know how many years you go have. Sixteen years is good enough. Your name, ma? All child, I run movement against child sexual abuse, and it's a win for us. What's your name? Your name, ma? Your name, ma? Your name, ma? Your name, ma? Your name, Spoken and she said um, that he's guilty of four out of six counts. And now she gave him five years for um, the first three for the second, five for the third, and three years for uh, the last count. And now um, she said he's going to run concurrently. So, in summary, he's going to uh, jail for five years. So, let's go inside to see if we can get um, more interviews from the persecuting council and defendant's council. Are you appealing? Are you appealing? Are you appealing the judgment? You are going to appeal. No, make it the sentence, sir. We need to understand what you are trying to do. So now we are going upstairs to assure you I hope Baba Jesha will be taken away. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the Punch newspaper where we bring you the latest updates around the country. So now for a fact Baba Jesha will be using five years in imprisonment. No, Lara. So now I'm um, a security personnel has said that um, he doesn't want any visitor right in front of this place, so we'll have to go downstairs to get um, interviews. I want to 
say at least a lot of people can come out to talk about this today. A lot of our children are dying in silence. The society is not encouraging people to come out. The crime is, you know, multiplying in triples day by day because the law is not strong enough to at least keep people as arms length. There are animals living within us in form of human beings. And coming from the fact that this person is a celebrity, is a known figure, it was tough for us as mothers because it was a war against mothers and celebrities. You know, the whole social media came against us like, why, 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 why? And it was tough. It was really tough. It was a trying time for me particularly because of our actions in front of Panty Filling Fashion Day. But today I thank God because um, people who people want to believe or people who people want to trust that they are actors and they are role models and people that we should be careful and you know, watchful about. So at the end of the day, what does this bring to our table? The society needs to stop condemning people for coming out. A lot of people wanted to come out to talk, but the fear of silencing their voice kept them under the bed. So I want to thank the legal system, I want to thank the DPPR, I want to thank the non-governmental organizations that stood by this, by this cause, and justice is safe. And this will just tell us what? Let's encourage our children to speak, let's encourage people to come out to hear their voices and their opinion. Let's stop silence, let's stop demoralizing people. Crime is crime, regardless of whoever has committed the crime. So today I'm going back home, you know. It's, it's painful, it's painful that we have to go through this, it's painful that other children are going through this. But at the end of the day, who are we? We are a society that has come to normalize the bad things. So for me, I was expecting more, but if something came out of it, at least. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe, comment, and share.